So, all right, YouTube, we are here for round, uh, round six of the Legacy Challenge on three and two. Looking to win out here. Get going. I will keep my hand. I've actually been talking about Death Shadow with Daniel. So I'm going to go get an island and then play Delver. I am three and two. All right, that's okay. If this would flip, that would be nice. Didn't flip. Do I want to lightning bolt this? Or do I want to trade it with a Delver? I don't want to trade it with a Delver when I can set up to flip both of them. So what I can do is just play Delver and do nothing. Um, getting him one damage with this Lightning Bolt isn't going to do anything. Because Lightning Bolt's better off going up to the face, I think. But I think I'm going to upkeep Brainstorm and shuffle away my true name. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, Panna, Kananda, HS, like, you're wrong. You know, you've got many people here saying that you're wrong. And, like, at some point, you, you have to go with the, the popular opinion. You know, at some things that I don't, you know, that I think that I mess up. That some of the, that sometimes I think something's wrong, but like many people will say, no, Dylan, it is this. And then when the popular opinion, uh, there's only certain, so many voices eventually say that. Listen to your heart, Simba. Looks like Daniel has a hard spot here. I don't even want to counter this. But what am I countering if I don't counter this? Be hitting the back wall of the beat. We're beating the shit out of the sides. I don't either. I'm debating whether I want to upkeep brainstorm and fetch away this true name or if I want to end a turn brainstorm and then play this true name and then bolt to like kill him and I think I'm going to end of turn brainstorm try to set up these delvers flipping and then being able to play true name I think I want to end step do it yeah so that I can go like swing for six play this swing for nine Maybe find another lightning bolt. Whoa, that was hot. So I want to put this snag underneath and flip to Pierce. Yeah, we want to put this, we want to make it so that he can't steal the snag. All right. Give me one second. I'm going to go say hi to my wife.
right back. Just give me one second, everybody. All right, we're back. So I attack, get in the damage, and then play this TNN, then pass the turn. I don't see how Daniel gets out of this one. I believe that's his first name. Okay, so how he gets out of this is with this, right? Speeds him up a turn. So I should for I should actually I should actually force this. Because then he can sacrifice a land to keep this around. Yeah, I gotta force a will this thing. I'm just going to slow him down. So we can decay or trophy. Okay. Hang on. Return. Hang on. Sacrifice a land. I actually should hit this right now because it, it guarantees to deal him a damage. I, I should I should vapor snag this right now because then he takes a damage from the vapor snag. Or he sacrifices a land and can't make Merit Lage. Because if he just makes the Sylvan safe, if he just makes Merit Lage, but he's still dead because he just blocks. Yeah, we're good. He needs to like make Merit Lage and kill a Delver.
Okay, so we can even beat we can beat Merrill Age at this point. I zoned out the fact that I had two Delvers it means that I have two sources of damage. Okay. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's look about dark depths. Okay. So cut fluster storm. Cut four folds. One days, especially on the draw. Though I might want my fork bolts if he's on Sylvan Safekeeper. And then a Lava Man. And I should have one more card. And one true name. To bring in Snap, Snag, Surgical. I should have one more card to bring in. So let me, let me, give me one second here. I don't I want to bring in my libraries because I want to library him back. So maybe I don't. I have my numbers messed up here. Two library, one grudge. I don't think I want grudge. I think he's gonna board his grudges out. Unless I'm just not bringing in surgical. <clears throat> Oh, it might be Streamo might be crashing here. Looks like OBS is kind of tweaking out a little bit. Um, I don't have Mulligan. I don't have a threat. And I guess I'll keep this hand and ditch this. Ditch a Valk. I actually countered one of these against a depth deck earlier. It was and it worked out for me. It was I spell pierced it. I didn't force it, but yikes. I think I'm gonna force a will this. I'm not gonna win without my Delver, but like I don't know, maybe I can find something else here to, to get me out of this, but I don't know. I'm in a tough spot there. Looks like the stream's back. I don't I don't know. It looks like we had some difficulties. Like one Delver isn't gonna win me the game against a Sylvan library. Oh, just in case he did the um just in case he did the play dude, play the guy thing. So what should I do? I probably should just surgical these Verdant Catacombs. Might slow him down a little bit. Like just bolt him, surgical Verdant Catacombs, and just be like, all right, this is what we're doing. This is just where we are, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about Brainstorm. Sorry, I was, like, paying attention to the stream because we were struggling there a little bit with the, um, with the, like, it, it, like it crashed for a hot second. 
and I'm still oh, sorry I wasn't paying attention. But I've already started this, so I'm just gonna do it. Just cut this off. Okay, so he's got needle and mage. Yeah, no, I should just let him take something. No, I can tell him no. Multitasking. So what does he have left? He doesn't have a lot of lands that make mana. So it's going to be hard. Like, I think I'm going to waste him. And then we might be able to get color screw for a little while. I want him to draw them. <clears throat> okay, so now he needles my tarn, which is bad. At least I think he needles tarn. Okay, so now I'm going to waste his bayou. Uh, wasting the Bayou just sucks, though. Oh, man, I played this so bad. I just haven't been focused. Blech. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do here. That's a great draw. When you know, if we can get it going. So I know, I know Daniel is a hex mage. All right. Okay, so he's making it a wasteland, all right. So I know he's got a hex mage, and that's it. I've not played these last two rounds very well. Why would you play the Tarn? We want to bait the wasteland. He's not going to do that, though. Right? Isn't that just dumb to do? Because, like, even if I figure out a way to deal with this Pithing Needle, he will just... Um, he'll just blow the Tarn up in response. You never know with Danny. <sighs> but not if you're against Lawrence. You make that play. I won't discard... Like, I'll play my turn over discarding, but this is just a really sweet game of Magic the Gathering. So now do I ponder? I kind of want to play it and then ponder, and then I might be able to set up You wouldn't waste a fetch there. Okay. I'm gonna ponder. I'm 
Shuffle that. <clears throat> if I had a daze there, it would have been sweet. Okay. Now I want to play the Pyromancer. I'm going to play my Pyromancer. I guess I could Surgical him. Now I'm going to play it. He's probably been sandbagging a land, but... I guess it would have been better to All right, well we've got ourselves surgical target. Okay, so now we're just in a good old little smackdown here. Because now we're just playing Honest Magic. And I've got true names in my deck. All right, let's get in here for one. And then I'm going to brainstorm. And we're going to find a fetch land to get rid of these two Scalding Tarns. Okay. He has a him. So I can just pierce his him. <clears throat> yeah, I know he has him. I had a spell pierce. I guess he can hit a land. Yeah, I'm not playing super well at the moment. All right, whatever. We're falling apart here, but we're, we're, we're going for it. He's not going to draw land. Oh, he drew land. I deserve that. Oh, yeah. What a meme. What a meme. He's got Decay and Hex Mage left. What a meme. Get an island. <clears throat> All right. Take my lightning bolt or my ponder. Jesus. This isn't this isn't, you know, the the most great played game. So he's got one hex mage. He's got one Hex Mage and a Decay left. And that's his hand. How did it? He, he discarded it off of a Mox. Oh, you're right. <laughs> What am I looking for? I, I want to put a true name nemesis on top of my deck. I 
I could draw. Daniel's got one Deluge in his deck. <clears throat> so I could just draw this Vapor Snag to be able to Vapor Snag back my, um, my true name. Which is kind of a meme. But, alright, I'm going to just draw. Now I'm all flustered. I'm all flustered now at this point. Bleh. All right, I'm going to go like this. And then I'm just going to attack with my true name. Because it's the same clock either way. <clears throat> this is like a cripple fight beat down. All right, so now I probably have to bolt one of these. Jason. All right, I'm going to get rid of one of these. So his last card is a Decay. So I can now play this Pyromancer and use this Vapor Snag to do something. What am I doing? If I just attack him. <clears throat> Get this thing back. Because now he can't attack because then I can go like, he can't attack with both because then I can just go like, attack here, chump block with one, and then put him to, um, put him to just dead to the true name. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to block this time. Because I didn't want to go block and then have him kill one, and it's still a three-turn clock. <clears throat> I'm just going to get rid of that. Attack for two. Attack with these. And then... What's his only out? His only out is Deluge. There's just no point in even playing anything. Yeah, his out's like deluge. Okay. So literally, it's just toxic deluge. Okay. So then, yeah. Oh. Huh. All right, let's get that off of here. 